Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here and I am back with a random video. So I've been mucking around a little bit with, um, what should I use there, with ink tents pen, pencils, the watercolour ones. Um, or did I paint that? I can't remember. Uh, I think I painted those. Um, but I've been playing around with those and this was or one of the ink tents. Actually, that these are copies. I scanned them. Um, I'll get the originals if I've got them here. Here's it. Oh, this one. Turned out a bit more green. I scanned it. I did that with the ink tents pencil. I just wet it and then um, like I dipped it in water and then did drawing on ledger paper. And then I scanned it, but it's turned out a bit a more greeny sort of color in the scan. And that, oh, I know why because I printed it on a um, cream paper, ding dong. Um, yeah, and so this is a, like a textural paper, but it's really nice. And then I printed it also on tracing paper, which I really like, really cool. And I didn't even like this when I was doing it. It was just, you know, a mess, just mucking around. But I actually quite like it now when it dried. And so I scanned that one as well. And that's just printed on that oatmeal sort of paper to use just to rip up and use in collage and then I printed that one and oh oh things are attacking me I'm being attacked by rice paper <laughs> oh goodness me okay and I printed that one on excuse me on tracing paper as well so I thought they could be fun to use on things like this so I'm going to do some more springtime let's say springtimey sort of tags I've tidied up my table I can't find my scissors don't know what I've done with them. I'm already going to rip this piece off. This is super fun. So, um, yep, so I've, that's what I've been doing, mucking around. And I think I might do it on this side. I had taken, chosen this. I thought this would be pretty on there. Maybe, no. Maybe not. With, oh, that's upside down. It has to go on that side. So I really like that on there. But what will I put with it? Or maybe I'll do it on the other side and leave that side blank. Put that there. Let me just see. I just want to see the sorts of things that I have. See what can go together. Mm, don't know. Oh, I know. What about some, not that book page. Where's my other book page? Here's a nice piece of old book page. I think I'm going to put it on there. Put that up there. So how is everybody today? I hope you're having a good weekend. I've really just had a fun day playing around with paints. And sometimes I don't have fun with paints because I'm not confident. So I feel like I'm make, just making a big mess. One might argue that these are a big mess, but I did have fun creating my mess. Somehow I'd like to get those colours on there. I put that there. So I need to glue this one over here. I need to put something under there. And I could put a bit of this original. I haven't scanned this one, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to overhang it and then I'll trim it off. Goodness knows what I'm doing, guys. Honestly, I've just turned the camera on just to say hello, see how everybody is. What are you all up to? Just checking in. Okay. And I might, will I fold that over? No, I think I'll trim it off. So I'm leaving the nature side, the nature observation record side blank to um, to write on. That's what I want to say. I nearly glued on my wildflower books. I don't book. I don't know if you can see that. That's defining my space so that I stay on screen. And I'll put that there. Like that. So it's a bit of a I might just slide it down. Can I do that? Yes, I can. I can. And I need to trim this off. 
because I'd like to combine a little bit of, you know, what they're calling collage fodder. I did start doing that. I was going to try and do a bit every day, but I just didn't. I just didn't get it done. It was too hard for me to do it every day, so I stopped doing that. I do have a big box of stuff from those few days that I did do. I need to pull it out and use it. I think I need to broaden my repertoire of um, patterns because I think I, that's all I can think of to do is what I, what you see here. I did like the idea of printing it onto vellum. That's I did like that a lot. Now, what else could we put on here? Um, let's have a look at the fussy cuts. I don't really want to cover up this area, you see, so... Well... Possibly this little fella. And this size or that size, I don't know. Could be good. So I have not found the wayward scissors. They have not reappeared. So who knows? They're probably somewhere they're probably or they could be on my other table but I don't think I was doing any fussy cutting over there so I don't know when I say over there it's right next to me my room is not that big those of you who've seen my room tour you will know that it's quite small but nice to be in here I love being in here I love that I've switched my position I've got a I switched the uh, um I moved the table I've got this other I can't remember if I had this table that I'm working at in my room tour or not, um, but I've got it under my window. And so I've got two tables in an L shape now and not much space to move around, you know, with all the shelving along the wall, but um, very nice outlook into the neighbor's garden. Well, there's, there's trees and stuff, so that's all right. I'm not, I think I might put that there up there rather than down there which would be the obvious thing to do and I could put like a label or something there I keep wanting to glue on there maybe I should move my paper on there so that way now be careful don't rip the feet off because these are just printed on regular copy paper okay so I'll put that one there So my birdies, my chick is kind of up in the air. And then some sort of label, I think, and possibly one to write on. Yeah, something like that. I did empty out my basket. So if I've got paint on my hand, you know why. Oh, goodness, flinging things everywhere. I want to put it there. Cute. And on the tracing paper there, like that, it looks like it was, it looks like the original. It looks like it's been drawn on there. So we like that. And you can write on that side. I'm wondering, I think I might um, punch this out. I might just do this punch rather than have the little hole. Let me just see. More or less, look at that. I like that look. It's huge. You can fit a nice piece of trim in there. We'll just put that aside. So we're going to be playing what we're doing today. We're making Easter, but we're playing playing with um, collage fodder. So we've kind of done that one. Let's just find something else to do. This is fun, this one. Now, with this one, I might do a little bit on here, and then we'll, we'll put something on the back there for, um, for writing. I mean, you could even leave it. It is a nice um, cream. 
I like that on there. I'm just going to take a tiny bit off the bottom. Um, I like the cream colour of it, although I probably would tend to... I've got things on top of my garbage bin. Surprise, surprise. Lots of surprises in my videos, aren't there? Not really. Very predictable. So instantly, one of, as you all know by now, one of my go-to things... Oh, I've got to do my other video. I forgot about that. One of my go-to things is... Isn't that cute? Um, always put my book page down. So we have this one here. If we want that's a bit green. Could use the original. Could use a bit of that. No, we won't use that. Put that over there. I've got lot. Oh, I didn't really like how this one turned out. But when you tear them down, they're okay. When you use a little bit here and there. Because it's really not my forte doing this sort of thing. I think I'm going to put that up there. Just take a little bit more off. I just for some reason like this part here. So I'm going to just slide it up and do something different because the logical thing is for me to put it down there, but I think I'm going to put it up there. And I seem to quite like covering up that green bit there for some reason. So there we go. Goodness knows why, but that is what I want to do. So we'll put this one up here. Okay. I really like that. And then I'm going to find something Eastery to put on there. Those little guys are so cute, but they don't fit. So let's just go back over here. I mean, it would be very helpful, wouldn't it, if I if I were to um, pre-fussy cut things out. But, you know, that's really pushing, pushing it. It's really pushing our luck. Um, let me just see where's the other pages oh we've got these pages we can take things from as well we don't I don't want to um, cover up too much I've got more of course I've got more Here they are. Oh, I like that chicky. I do like that chickadee. Oh, I like the grey bunny as well. And I like the white bunny. Okay, here they are. We'll use these. Let's have a look at these. Now, these are printed on, let me feel it. I think 120. 100, what did I want? Oh, I just want to see this one. not those I wanted to see well we've had the walking stick bunny before haven't we this one swinging things around and I wanted to see the chip now I will whiz around and cut out as fast as I can And when, when I um, painted the one that I said that I didn't like, the one that I scanned, Lily said, Mum, I really like that, scan it. So I did. I scanned it this morning and then I thought, oh, let's just try that on a few different pieces of paper. So like I printed one on, this is on the textural sort of paper. Um, and then I printed them on the tracing paper and I really like the tracing paper. I mean, almost more than the original, to be honest. I'll cut this out so I can audition them all. This one won't take too long. You just rip off the bits. Well, as long as you, you're pretty sure you're not going to rip any of the bunny off or whatever you're cutting out, you just take the bits off that are annoying or in the way. You just, rather than trying to turn the corner and crashing into things... You just get rid of them. And I just cut things off that I feel I, ex you don't, I don't need for what I'm doing. Mm. 
Okay, that's that one. And now let's do this little guy. At least I'll have them there ready for the next time, won't I? Okay, if you can hear any noise, Lulu's on a video chat with her friends. It's a glorious day outside. It's like 17 degrees or something. We went for a walk before in the countryside. Like, we didn't have to drive anywhere. As you know, I can go for a walk. I'm near town, but we can go for a walk and we're instantly in the countryside. No people about, only a couple of people. A couple on their bikes and a couple of people having a walk, but not many. Okay, so. Oh, that's really, I like the, the beigey sort of tones. Let's just see this one. That one's going to cover up my bit that I like here. You see, that's why I'm not going to like that one. And that one will, well, that one's covering it up too, but I do like the car. I think the number one go-to is the bunny. This one. This is the one. I'm going to put my bunny there so you can see a bit of everything and I feel like I want to put something oops a bit of glue I always get extra glue where I don't need it not the bold writing I think the mini writing put that there yeah scissors all kinds of ideas swimming in my head it's just and then you know what happens is I don't have don't get to them right away and then I forget it's not good not good I know I should write it down but it's not quite the same as having that sort of feeling that you want to go and do something but you don't have time to get there so you can choose to decorate the front or the back or both so you can see little um spurts of the original okay and then we just need to get some paper what colors do we have i think we might just grab a piece of this yeah yeah i think those colors are going to go well together so i need to get a new piece of paper to glue on fold that one over put that there i'm just going to be careful here because i tend to get clumps of glue i push really hard because I want to get lots of glue stick, but I shouldn't, I push hard in the wrong spot, like where the hole is, or near the edges, and then, and then it just cuts chunks of glue out. It's so funny. Has anybody watched Anne's video yet? I haven't watched it, but I know what she's doing. And my first reaction every time I see it is, oh no, how am I going to do that? Because it's all things, well, most, no, not, well, some things I haven't done, done much or I haven't done before. I've never done with those rings before. I think they're called dorset buttons. Um, so yeah, I've never done that before, but um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. I've been looking them up on Pinterest and things to see. And I also watched um, Ariane Zersha. That some of you guys recommended that I watch her and she's amazing. And I really like listening to her. I've been binge watching. I haven't done anything like what she does, but I have been watching and listening because I like listening to her. And let's see, I just sort of eyeball the centre. Kind of chop that out. There we go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And we could have a look here and see. And no, I don't want to take away from my writing, so I'm not going to put anything else on the back. So there's that one done. So we're playing with the collage fodder. Okay, so what else can we make? Well, we need to make some journal cards. So I have this piece of paper. I think I'll oh, big blobs of glue. I'm just 
get the big bobs of glue off. We don't want those. Okay, I'm going to rip it down. Maybe I'll rip it down closed and then open it up so I've got two. I'm not going to do it double because I don't think it needs it. I want to get rid of that bit there because that was where it was attached. I think that's a good size. Okay, so let's have a play with these. Right. Well, I've got this piece looking at me. That can go down. Put my scissors over there. So having a bit of a, a couple of Easter days or sort of springtime, Eastery sort of days, really. Why not? It's a lovely time of the year. It's a shame it doesn't last longer. Then all of a sudden it starts to become very hot. Thinking, I mean, I haven't been, well, I did have my woolly jumper on yesterday, but I haven't been wearing my woolly jumpers too much. So I'm thinking it's probably time, maybe I should just do the switcheroo with the, um, I think I'll put that there, with the wardrobe and, and then just layer up because our house is still cold. Like we, we will sleep with our doona probably, we usually last until, if I remember correct, we usually last until May with the doona on the, on the bed because um it's, we live in our, our apartment's very cool until it until it starts to be it stays cool until it's the humidity begins when the humidity begins then we sort of start to feel hot in the apartment but um until that happens it's very cool now what i'm looking for is i want i might use this one i just really like the colors so it's quite um you know, I'm using old things, but also things that really are quite sort of modern, really, if you look at them. But I, I just like that combination. It's I like clashy things. I like things that don't go together. And I probably wasn't like that before, but I don't know. In my old age, I've become clashy. I know we've had this discussion before. And I forgot to do my... I knew I had to do something today. I forgot to do my... Um, video about the printing on fabrics so I might if I can get that done afterwards I just want to see if these little guys would like to go on here they may not like it they may decide to go somewhere else we didn't use any transparency on this one and the reason why you often will nearly always see me use... I quite like that. It's just covering up that so much, which is a shame. But I do like it on there, you see. Um, you do see me using my own kits. Maybe I'll put that little guy on there. Or... This little, no, he's too small. He needs to go on something little. Um, you do see me using my own kits quite a lot. Um, and the reason is, well, I like them. And so I want to play with them as well. Like we're not making things that we don't like. Well, no, I don't, I'm sure nobody does that. Nobody makes things. I, that's the one. It has to go on there. It's going to cover up the painted bit a bit. It doesn't matter. I didn't scan that one, but you know, I can do that again. It's not the end of the world. Um, yeah. Oh, I've just got to go and get the door. Just one sec. I'll just glue that down there. Hopefully they don't escape. Okay, so I'm back. Right. I think I was talking about um, Anne. Or did I finish that? I can't remember. I was saying that I always think, oh gosh, I don't know what to do with that. And then I love it when I do it. Whatever her project is. There. I just found this on the floor. Yes, I think I'll put that there. That will recuperate from covering it all up there because it's from the same bit. Okay, so that's that one. We'll decorate the back in a second. We might just put um, just some sort of plain paper. So we've got this one. Now we could have a look. Well, I want to put down some, I think I want to put down older or something else first, some book, something else first. Maybe I'll put some of this down. Just 
tear off the, the funny bits and trim with the scissors here. If I'm not careful, I'll lose the one I'm still working on. Put that there. Like sometimes I've sh I've shown a little bit of collage fodder before. I need to use it more. It's a new thing for me. Um, and and someone has said, oh, can you show how you do that? But I don't think that I'm particularly good at it to be, you know, showing my process. There's there's really great people out there that um, make this sort of stuff that are much better at it. Um, not they're a little bit on youtube but i haven't found there's a few but i haven't found seeing little bits it's okay um that's why i didn't throw it out even though i didn't like it i love the colors but i just didn't like what i did it was very i don't know blobby you say it was blobby um yeah there's just not like you know they'll show something sped up and i'm i'm not a huge fan of sped up videos because i find them hard to follow i prefer to see even if it takes a long time, I prefer to sit, and you know, I might sit in, in two rounds or something like that. Um, but I prefer to sit through a real-time video so I can follow it better. That's the only reason why. Um, and so quite often, I know because painting takes a long time, that's why it has to be sped up. Um, but yeah, I haven't found too many that I, I that really get me going oh I love that there maybe I've got a bigger one of those I must because do you remember how many pages I had printed out I've just got to find where I put them mm-hmm here they are oh that's quite cut out what have I got here lots of things lots of things oh they are so cute they can go, they'll go. So I've got one of those cut out, I'm pretty sure. I saw them yesterday. Oh, that's cute. I made that last year. I didn't finish it. I just need to make a little tag to go on that. Oh, look, here's a little, some little tags. So I do have a few made things. Let's just see what's cut out. There's a few cut out things here too. I've got my head turned around. Sorry, guys. No, I'm, I'm set. My mind is set on... That can go in there, cute. There we go, that's something that's complete, like that. And that's complete as well, that's from last year. That's a good one, good one. I need this little fella to be a little bit bigger. Otherwise I have to put something there. So let me just see. Here he is, that might be too big. Got, I've even got two of these pages. Can you believe it? This one might be too big. I think I've got another size after that one. Let's just check. There's a small one. goodness I really did exaggerate with the printing last year that'll keep me going for years hmm. okay we'll cut this guy out otherwise I'm going to go with that one and I'll put something there I'll just lose a bit of the background here just so it's a bit smaller And I'm going to cut some of that shrubbery off. We don't need that. And 
And to like the little one, I just need to cut a little bit more off here. Okay, that's better. Oh, yes, that's it. I'm going to put that one there and I just feel like the tags, not the tags, the labels, they sort of fill in um, spaces. They just, to me, complete things sometimes. Or most of the time. Otherwise I wouldn't use them, would I? See, we've got this space up here and I feel like it just needs something. I, I mean, you could put a little something like that there, or but I think this will be good because we've got a lot of... Um, sort of shapes happening here so I feel like we need something a bit more rectangle a bit more regular and I think that's going to be good there and so that this journal card here does not look overly easterly at all easterly easterly it's like a, it's not it's like a wind isn't it I said easterly easterly I should say easterly we haven't we haven't got an easterly blowing we get easterlies in Sydney we get westerlies, easterlies, southerlies. We don't normally say northern. We say no. We don't say northerlies. We, we say we easty, easterlies, westerlies, and yeah. I think I'll stop right there. <laughs> I love that one for some reason. I just think I like the colours green and blue. I like that. Okay, so now oh, they're cute. I guess you can kind of see when you make things in batches too, really, because um. Now I like this one with this, but I think I'll put something else on the back of that one. Um, you can kind of, um, you know, they kind of go together. I mean, as Gail always says, isn't ephem making ephemera is, this is not a real word, but we'll say it is the funnest. <laughs> um, it's so much fun making ephemera, it really is. And you could make it for days. You could just keep on going and going and going. And you do need, I mean, when you're making journals, you do need quite a lot. You do need quite a lot of things to, if you put pockets in, if you don't, if you do a, a nudie sort of journal, you don't need things, but so many things. But if you make, if you do put pockets and tucks in your journals, you need a lot of tags, a lot of, Fun. We don't have to have tags. You could slip in old things as well. I think we'll put some sort of tab on that one. Now let's do this one first before we do that. And uh, what will we put on that one? I ask you like you can answer me, but you can't answer me. I wish you could answer me, but well, that would happen if I did a live. But I will. I probably will never do a live. That would just be too, 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 too technological for me. And um, no. No, I won't, probably would never do that. Oh, I'm going to put this, this bit here. Yeah, that's going to be really good. So let's get some glue on here. Okay. Oopsie. And put that there. Okay, so there we go. Cute. Now, one one time a while back, someone said to me, "Oh, Mike, look how that's bending. See that? That will be fine. That will all. Mine tend to sort of. I just go like that, and then they kind of when they dry, they're all fine. They're they're just fine like that. Okay, so we're going to put some sort of tab. Put them in different spots. And I quite like doing the round ones, and I think I think I'm going to cut the round ones out. Oh, hanging from here. 
you can turn your thing around and see where will I cut it out. I love that. Oh, that looks really cool. I like it. Well, I think it looks cool. You may not, but I like it. I'm going to cut it out there too. Cool. So that, I think I'll put it on this one because it's got blues. I think I'll put it up there. So let's put some glue on here. And put that up there. I like the rounds. Everybody's got a round punch or can get access one, not like the whale tail that's not available anymore. No, no, you're okay. Thank you, Lily. Thank you for your consideration, Lily. We, we do appreciate it, don't we, ladies? I love that. And it looks like it's been painted. Well, it was painted, but this is the printed version of it. So cool. So I'll put that over there. And now here, you might not use that one or those. I think here, because it's got the original there, we might use something, a papery sort of thing. Let's just see what... Um, here we go. This is what I'm already instantly seeing this one. Now, I think I like it on that side. I think I'll put it there. Isn't it funny? It's just funny how it, some, it just looks better in one spot than another, even though it's the same tag. It's just, you just, you just put things where you, you sort of feel happy about it. I haven't folded that very well, have I? You probably couldn't see that. Doesn't matter. Put that there. Oh no, and I haven't finished. I want to snip the corners off. I like snipping corners off lately, as you know. Just a tiny bit. So I don't even bother measuring because it's just a tiny bit. That's good. Yeah, cute. as opposed to having our rounded corners, which is typical. There we go. I really love that. So never throw it out if you don't like it, if you think you don't like it, because then when you use a teeny tiny bit, it's it's likeable. Okay, well, what's next? What will we make next? We still need, I still need more journal cards, so I think I'll make a few more. Oh, that ripped, but it doesn't matter. We'll just rip that bit off and chuck it. Peel that off. And we'll just, I'm just using, even though I end up snipping, I'm tear, using the tear roller so we go a little bit straighter than with the scissors. I might make a smaller type of journal card, just in case I'm going to have a small pocket or something to put it in. Oh, I quite like that shape. No, I'm going to make it a bit smaller. I think I'll line it up there and off you go. There we are. Now, what I would like to do is use a bit of the transparency I think I don't know that might be too much it's quite pretty though I wonder what I could put on top of it oh I think I'm gonna like that okay right well I'm gonna try it if I don't like it I can always throw it out and print it again it's not the end of the world See what happens. Okay. Okay, do that on there. So it doesn't matter that this um, book page underneath is not so old because I've covered it with the tracing paper. Oh yeah, I was saying about them curving. I mean, if you do have a problem with curving with your, because of the glue, your um, papers, just put them under a book, a heavy book or something heavy, and then they'll flatten out. But I find when they dry, they stiffen a bit and they, um, that's cool. Um, they stiffen a bit and they, they do flatten out. Now what I might do here is also just grab some old book page. And put 
put some old book page somewhere. You can hear water. I think I put that little bit there, not covering up too much. Okay, and then I just want to see, I thought I might put this little one here. Oh, I might like that one. Let's just cut it out. I'd have to sit and do some fussy cutting tonight. So I'm not going in any of the detail, any of the finer details. I'm just going around and cutting off the bigger bits. Okay, I might just lose that bit there. Don't need to keep it all. Okay. Okay, well, after all of that, no, it's not my favourite. No, I'm not going to put that one. I think I like the brighter colours in the, oh yes, I think I like the brighter colours in this one. I can put it there. No, I think I like it more over here. And... I don't want to cover up the writing. Okay, no, I'm just going to put a pretty tab. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to cover up too much. Put that there. I'm going to snip my corner. Oh, I haven't put my back on, backing on yet. Let's put a backing on. seeing what colours do we have going on. I think I'm going to like it with this. So I'll put my glue on here. That on there. Okay. Yep, that's cute. Oh, we'll have a look in a minute. I'm just going to snip my corners and then we're going to put a tab on it.
Okay. I don't think I'm going to put, um, you know, this sort of thing on there. I think I'm going to do something a bit more solid. Quite like that one. It's from a book page. Someone sent that to me. A botanical book. Music paper. Now that's going to blend in. Yeah, I think I'll use the Florentine paper. One. Yeah. And that's what I'm going to use. Very eclectic, busy sort of card. Ta or maybe a little tag. Just a minute. I was looking at bigger ones. No, these are a little bit too small, I think. No, not that one. No, I'll just leave the tags off, I think. Labels, sorry, labels. Okay, so I think I'll end it here. And, um... And I'll just recap what we did. Just did five things. Just a quick video today. So, But using collage fodder. Painted collage fodder. Printed in different ways. Just makes a different interesting sort of background really. And then there's... there. So that's printed. This is original here. I really like that one. Love that. That's from the printed. And I cut the circles out. That's original. Um, that's also original as well old book page and then that was the printed art absolutely love that and that's original super fun so there we go a bit more fun today just for the bit of weekend fun we're having um i'll put photographs at the end so you can see them and i hope you enjoyed that and you go and make your own collage fodder to make your tags different and interesting um and i will see you again soon so thank you for watching bye